Good morning. A beautiful morning. Got bees out here working. I've killed two vine borer moths and three male moths. The males, after the blooms close up in the evening, they'll sleep inside the bloom waiting for the females to show up the next morning. So I have to sacrifice a few male blooms to drop them in some soapy water and emasculate them. <laughs> uh, so far, I have not found any any uh, damaged vines where the boars have laid eggs and all. Uh, they bored into the into the vines. There's so much trash on the bottom of my vines where I've got that vix and the dirt is blown up there in the storms. If there was eggs there, I couldn't see them. But I haven't found any frass on any of the vines, so therefore I'm assuming. I got those female moths just in time. Uh, they, they don't be seem, to in, seem to be interested at all in my trap plants over there that don't have big salve on them. But I do think the Vic salve has worked to the extent that they won't lay their eggs where the Vix is. Now, I know they can lay their eggs along these vines anywhere, anywhere, and um, destroy the vine. I don't want to upset all these bees and get stung by one of them. I just wanted to give y'all a rundown on what things look like. We've had three storms, and if I, I know without a doubt, if I had not put those wires trapping these plants to the ground, the little roots they already had would not have held them because it blew big limbs off the house, off on the house. You see a pile of them out there by the road where my son piled them up. I keep looking for that yellow pumpkin there to be to rot because it is yellow. I just saw a big bee that was not a honeybee. And I didn't catch it fast enough to see if it was a moth. Could have been a bumblebee. They do come. Let's hope that's what it was. There's that little old hubbard we had the other day. The little one. There's a bigger one here somewhere. It's going to get to the point where I can't find a lot of them because of uh, I'm expecting these vines to smother out these weeds out here and that's I think a little Dickinson that vine that got broke by my neighbor's dog I put some soil over it and uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna make it I don't let my dog get out and run, run free around here in somebody else's yard but I have a lot of neighbors that are not like me. They'll turn their dogs out and their dogs can go wherever they want to. And they usually come over here to use the bathroom in my yard. So I'm coming out. To, I have a very small dog. We take her to the very back of the property here next to the, next to the woods. And I'm trapped in a vine here. To do her business. And I go out to cover up the business that the neighbor's dog's done. It's way larger than my little hawks would be. I just dig a hole and bury it. There's nowhere to throw it. That has to be kabocha squash. And I didn't order them. Like I said, even Baker Creek can make mistakes in there. 
seed packets. But I've never had any kabocha, so maybe I like them. It's a little late to ask for my money back or a replacement. Of course, we have a long growing season, but where would I put them? <laughs> There's no place to put them. My son said, next year you can spray some stuff to kill all these weeds before you plant. I said, no. He said, why not? I said, we're trying to keep chemicals out of what we eat. Not put it in it. He said, oh, it will be gone by the time you plant it again. I said, oh, no, it wouldn't. It'd still be right there. No. One reason the vine borers probably have not been attracted to these um, zucchinis over here is they're not blooming. Not big enough. They're supposed to be zucchinis. That one right there looks like it's going to run. Oh, well. What can you do? You just plant and pray over it, ask the Lord to bless it, and hope you get a good harvest. That's the way I, I'm, I do it anyway. Still don't have a proper trellis for that tomato there. There's my sudsy water in case I found a male borer hiding in a flower. I hadn't even opened the flower that was closed to see. But I'm pretty sure he would have wiggled his way out by now to meet the uh, those queens that come around. This one just fell off in my hand. There's nothing in it. But a stamen. And there's no point in me trying trying to pollinate anything. The bees are doing a proper job of that. <laughs> that looks like powdery mildew on that vine right there, but it's not. It's a different vine. It's a different species altogether. It's that side pumpkin. Let's see. Nah, you could rub it off if it was powdery mildew, so. And it would have already spread to the plants around it if that's what it was, so. It's just those variegated leaves look weird. And this is the same one here with the variegated leaves. Okay, I'll see you all on the next one. Happy gardening.